Hello Game Makers, this is Game Maker Rob and today's episode is going to be about a basic tooltip tutorial. Uh, this was suggested and voted for by my patrons. Uh, let's get started. Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to do a tooltip. Um, the way this is going to work is you can see all these different instances around here. Uh, every time we move the mouse over them, there's going to be a short delay and then it's going to display some text uh, depending on um, a number from each instance. Uh, the number is going to basically determine which text to, to display. Uh, I am storing the text in a CSV file. Uh, this one here. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description. And then if the number for the instance is zero, it'll display this text. If it's one, it'll display this text. If it's two, it'll display this text. So, um, and the, the number it's gonna have is random. Uh, it's just, you know, to save time on setting things up, but uh, hopefully you get the gist of it. I'm gonna go through OBJ Basic in a minute. Uh, the very first thing that we would need to do, though doing it my way, is that we need to load the CSV. Global.data is going to be a grid that stores this information. It's just three lines of text inside it. Uh, and then in OBJ Basic, in the create, we're going to have a variable called ready, which is false. Um, and then on the very first step of the game, if ready is false, then index is going to be uh, a random number based on the height of the grid. So it's going to be zero, one or two. Uh, and then uh, ready is going to be set to true. So the reason I'm doing this here is if you didn't put uh, this main object into the room, first of all, if you put it last like I'm doing now, then you'd get a crash because these guys are trying to read from this guy before he was created because all these guys are going to run their create event first then this guy runs his, then all of these guys are going to run their step event first. And if uh, the global grid doesn't exist, we're going to get a crash. So um, make sure you've got things set up like this. So we just have two objects for now. We've got the basic with this code in this step. And this code in the create, just to make sure they have a number, a random number. And then we have this main object, which in the create event, we just have the low CSV and that's all we have in the room right now. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just get this working on a very basic level. So um, in the create event of our main object, we're going to have um, a new variable called tooltip ID. This is going to store the instance ID of one of those uh, blue circles, uh, just so we know who we moused over. Uh, and then in the step of this main object, we're going to use collision point to check for a collision on the mouse X and Y with an instance of OBJ basic, the blue circle. Um, not precise, uh, not me, doesn't matter because it's a different object. Uh, so we're going to store either no one or an instance in tooltip. Uh, if tooltip is not equal to no one, that means we've moused over someone and we're going to set tooltip ID to whatever that instance is. Uh, and then in the draw GUI, uh, as long as our tooltip ID uh, is not no one, then we're going to grab the text index from the tooltip. So basically the uh, index that was set in the first step of our blue circles is going to be stored in text index. Uh, and then the text we're going to display is going to be grabbed from our Excel sheet, the, the CSV file like this and then we're just going to set up some colors and drawing coordinates and then draw the text like that so uh, if we run the game it'll work but it's kind of very simple so as soon as you mouse over it the text will change depending on the object but you know it, it stays there it doesn't disappear um, let's make it a bit easy to recognize uh, which object is which number as well 
I'm going to add a draw event for the basic. Uh, I'm going to say draw self. I'm going to say uh, draw. Uh, we'll say if ready. Then uh, draw text x y and then string index like that let's run the game again so you can see um we have a, a mixture of zeros and ones so when we mouse over a zero the text should be the same when it's a two it says type two when it's a one it says type one like that so now we're going to add something to uh, make sure that we uh, get rid of the message whenever we move the mouse. Um, so back into the create event of our main object, we're going to have two new variables. We're going to have mouse x previous and mouse y previous. Um, as it says in the, the comment here, we're going to be using these two to store where the mouse was in the last step. Um, and then we're going to compare mouse x previous to mouse x and mouse y previous to mouse y and if either of these two don't match up then we know the player moved the mouse uh, since the last step and then we can get rid of the text so uh, make sure you got you have this down and then in the step event uh, here we're going to say like i said if mouse x is not equal to mouse x previous or mouse y is not equal to mouse y previous then the players move the mouse, get rid of the tooltip. So we're just going to set tooltip to no one. Um, and then at the end here, uh, we're going to update the uh, mouse X previous and mouse Y previous to mouse X, mouse Y. So if you rerun the game again, so we've got the, the text there, move the mouse away and it disappears. If we uh, move the mouse and it's still on the same object though, then the tooltip is still there. Um, so once we add a delay, um, it's going to fix that as well as uh, stop text just popping up straight away. So that's going to be the next and last thing that we do. Okay, so once again, we're going to go into the create event of our tooltip object. We have two new final variables. We have two tooltip timer. Uh, this is going to count up from zero until this value which is 10 uh, when it reaches 10 that's when we're going to allow the uh, text to be displayed <clears throat> uh, tooltip hover for is like it says here how long before we should display the text then in this step um, when we reset uh, tooltip ID we want to reset the timer as well um, and then here where we find a collision with um, OBJ basic, uh, we want to check to see if the timer is less than tooltip hover four, which is 10. If it is, then increase the timer by one. Otherwise, if the tool timer, tooltip timer is 10 or more, then we're going to set tooltip ID to OBJ basic like we did before and then reset the timer and, and that's it. So if we run, run the game again, see that the text doesn't appear straight away it's like a short pause so uh, it might work better if you increase the timer so uh, sorry not increase the timer increase the uh, hover for time uh, it might be annoying for the player if it pops up every 10 steps so if we, we try 30 steps then it's a lot better maybe even room speed to give them a full second there you go uh, i hope you enjoyed the tutorial uh, thanks for watching i'll catch you next time bye for now